guys we are on the way to the plastic surgeon to pick up my implant size I'm really excited ready for this i've been waiting for this for like five years <laughs> Obviously it's not the same day, my hair is different, <laughs> my makeup is different, my clothes are different, but um, basically what happened was it got late after the appointment was over, it got dark, so I really couldn't film the rest of the video until the next day. So here it is, uh, ready to explain the appointment to you guys and tell you what happened. So we got to the appointment and I had seen him before, I had kind of picked out my plastic surgeon and breast surgeon last year because I was just ready to have someone who I knew I could rely on. I know some of you watching this have the genes, some of you watching it probably don't, but basically how it works is you find your breast surgeon and the breast surgeon usually has plastic surgeons that they work with all the time or quite often on surgery. So I didn't necessarily go to the plastic surgeon first. I went to the breast surgeon first because that's the one that I personally really care about. I'm doing this to get rid of my risk of breast cancer, so I want the best breast surgeon who's going to get all that material out of me and you know really reduce my risk um, I want to be able to trust him he's the one looking at my MRIs and my mammograms and if I were to get cancer he'd be the one that I would go to to fix it and help me like walk through those steps the plastic surgeon that he works with is the one that I'm going with uh, during the surgery they're both in the surgery room they're working together so I really wanted it to be someone that he trusted and he works with a lot I don't even know if he would let me go to an outside plastic surgeon. I'm not really sure. Also when I saw like at the breast surgeon they'll show you pictures of his work um, before and afters and I really liked them. I loved them so I wanted his plastic surgeon and honestly the plastic surgeon is pretty cool. He told me that if his daughter had this um, mutation he would have recommended her go as soon as she found out. That being said I was 19 and doctors wanted me to wait till 25 so 24 is a happy medium for me <laughs> anyways skipping forward to the now I went to this appointment to like really select my implant size and actually decide what I wanted for sure for the surgery since I'm having it in about a month and a half um, I got there and it turned out that he thought I was gonna be at a different location so I had to wait for 30 minutes for him to come and see me but that was okay once he saw me it was really nice he remembered everything I said the first time it was it was kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie, like, you just open your top and he's over there like pointing like, alright, the incision will be under your breast and this is where I'm gonna put the implant and your nipples will go here and blah blah blah. That was kind of weird, but he was super nice, he let my boyfriend come and my boyfriend isn't making these decisions for me, he's just there as a support. Of course I care about what he thinks, but he's not at all like picking my implant size or anything, he's just really my support system, he's gonna be helping me through the process. Uh, so yeah, he came, plastic surgeon was super cool with that, and like explained it all to both of us, and it really was a lot less intimidating than I thought it would be. You know, going to someone and saying, what's wrong with my body, can you fix it, is scary, but I told him myself, like, what I was self-conscious about with my breasts, and what I wanted them to look like, and he was so accepting, and he was like, we can do it, we can like, make you look however you want to look, just tell me and I can make it happen, and that was really cool, you know, I felt validated for my insecurities he really was like you know a lot of women feel the way you do um and it's okay to feel that way so grant came to this appointment with me for the first time and he had never felt an implant before or anything so that was really what he was looking forward to implants are a lot squishier than you would probably think they're like little balls of water I put that video in there before me like squeezing it so you can really see how squishy they are. Like I was shocked. I'm really not that sad to be replacing my boobs with that in the end because I think they'll still feel relatively the same as far as squishiness goes. Mine, because I'm younger, 
and because they'll be newer will be a little bit more firm than the implants that you saw in the video and I think that goes with everyone um, and over time they relax in your body and they start to become more squishy but it takes time personally I've never really been that happy with my boob size my boobs aren't small but they're kind of as the doctors like to say tubular in shape so they don't have much cleavage at the top I like always had to wear push-up bras I wear a 32c now I'm hoping to go and become a D after the surgery um, just because I have to have this mastectomy anyway so like I might as well get something that I like and be proud of my body I'm kind of trying to look at the positives and think like wow I might like my boobs even better than before now that they'll be rounder and kind of they'll be kind of what I always wanted them to be rather than this like flat tubular like all the mass at the bottom <laughs> like they kind of are now I mean you can you can tell like there's nothing here but there's a lot of volume there's it's all at the bottom I don't know why my moms are like that too they used to call her rocket boobs when she was a kid because they're kind of like pulling out like a rocket I think that's kind of stupid but whatever I guess looking at the bright side of the surgery is I will have new rounder boobs and they'll be basically what the plastic surgeon said is that rather than being like this they'll be up higher and they'll be more round there are teardrop breast implant options but I've never really heard good things about it from people who have them I've really heard people recommend round and I personally like the round look um, I can always get fat grafting if I wanted to smooth it out a little bit, but I'm not really super worried about it because I like the idea of having cleavage. So yeah, my plastic surgeon said that I'm a good candidate and that I can really go whatever size I want. Of course, I'm not going to go like double G or like some crazy huge boob. I don't want to look fake, but I would like to, you know, at least take it as a boob job <laughs> since I have to do it anyway and trying to look my best. Uh, I decided, basically when you're in this appointment, they give you these, like, weird, like, bra filler things that you can, like, put in your bra and it'll show you what the new boob size would look like. So I tested out a few sizes. I think we had 150cc, 250cc, 350cc, and 450cc, and the 450cc was huge. Like, it was, like, this big. Seriously. So I put that on just for fun, but I looked ridiculous, so I took it out. And we decided to go with around 300cc extra on top of what I have already. So that'll end up being around 500cc once they put me under and like get the right implant size because they're removing all the breast tissue. So they have to find, they have to basically add the mass of my breast now with the implant size that I like. So if I want to be a D cup, 500cc it is because they're not just putting an implant on top of my already C-cup boobs. They're literally putting implants on top of nothing. I'm going to be flat chested and they're just putting implants on top of that. I am going direct to implants, so I'll never see myself flat chested. Luckily, I think I would, that would like cause me some mental angst. Um, but basically when I'm under, they'll put sizers in and he'll look and, you know, he'll make sure it looks right. If he puts one in that's too big, obviously he'll do a different implant. Um, but once they put the sizer in and see what looks good, they'll pick the implant. I told him around 500cc, so hopefully it'll be that. We'll see what I wake up with, but he knows generally what I want to look like when I'm done. And I totally trust him to make me look my best. Um, I know he's not going to like go under there and make me an A cup or a G cup or anything crazy that would look strange on my personal body type, uh, seeing as I'm already a C cup. Um, and he knows I don't want to go any smaller than I already am. Personally, some people might want to, but just for me, no. I like my boobs and I want to be at least my size after the surgery. So yeah, basically when he's under, after they take all the breast tissue out in the same surgery, they're going to put the implants in and they have to put this um, alloderm connected to my muscle. Basically, I'm going under the muscle. I chose that. I had the option of going over the muscle, but I chose under the muscle because just for me I don't know if this is scientifically proven or anything but for me I felt like under the muscle would give me a higher chance of finding breast cancer if I ever did develop it later on even though I'm having the mastectomy you know it can't reduce my risk a hundred percent it's just removing it down to the 
amount of like a normal woman's risk or lower. So basically you have your muscle and then you have breast tissue on top. So by doing under the muscle, that muscle will be pushed directly up to my skin. So it's muscle and then skin. Any cancer that formed would be pushed directly against the skin and it'd be really easy to find. If I did over the muscle, it would be the muscle, the implant, and then the skin. And it'd be a little bit more difficult in my opinion. Again, I'm not a doctor. They didn't necessarily tell me this, but this is what I thought after doing my own research. Um, any cancer that would form would be obviously underneath the implant on top of the muscle. And that just worries me. If I have cancer, I want to find it really fast and like get it out of there. Uh, I don't want it to be hiding underneath my implant and like me not be able to find it. Uh, so yeah, that's just my opinion. You know, in the end, if it turns out that I don't like the way my breasts look after the surgery, I can go back in again and do another reconstruction to move it over the muscle or change my implant size or whatever. I just am crossing my fingers that I don't have to go through that and do another surgery. But hey, if I do, it happens and I'll face that bridge when I get there, um, I guess, you know. So yeah, it's really nice. Going to the plastic surgeon is kind of weird. I'm the kind of person that Never thought I would have plastic surgery until I found out about this gene. And then it was like, all right, let's do this. Like, let's find my doctors. It took about four years for me to decide I was ready. But once I was ready, I was like really ready to just like dive in at first. <laughs> if you have any other questions about my plastic surgery journey with my breast reconstruction, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to answer anything really. I'm an open book when it comes to this stuff. I hope I didn't leave anything out. That was important, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, like and comment and subscribe. Uh, I'll be having my surgery in about a month and a half and vlogging all of it, which is pretty crazy, but hey, I want to be able to share it with my family and my daughter and you guys, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!